it's a delight to uh, catch up with Mrs. Uh, Monica Chaudhary, head of the Department of Optometry at Amity University. Monica, thank you so much for... Uh, thank you so much, Venor, for coming too. Yeah, yeah, and also thank you so much for coming this morning and, and, and lecturing to the Young Leaders Program, you know, that we have here. Now, one of the things that, uh, that you know, we all admire you for is, is how you've taken the optometry program uh, at Amity University uh, you know, forward over the last four years, uh, you know, since you've been there, uh, that program, you know, is progressing at a dramatic rate. Could you maybe share a little bit on, on, um, on what your strategy is in, in how you are Thank you so forward? much, Vinod, for the compliments that you've given. In fact, it was the passion to lead the program and try to develop it at the international standards. And there was an exposure that was given uh, by the LF to the Sydney and the Melbourne University. So we realized the optometry education is far ahead and we have to build it up in our country to that level. So we have the bachelor's program, the master's program, where we are trying to integrate the theory and the practicals, cl clinicals, so that the professional eye is well developed and as a, is, is a team member of the good eye care team. And, and your student intake also, I understand, has been going up in numbers. Yes, we struggled with it, uh, with just uh, three students, then 12, and now we have 35 students intake in the bachelor's and about another 12 in the master's program. And, and, and were there any measures you put in place, you know, that allowed for, you know, more people to know about optometry and be Yes, we're trying to promote uh, by going into the schools, creating awareness about it. We talk about our professions. So we have this School Connect program right. where we are trying to uh, go to these 11, 12 standards and tell them what optometry is. We call these students to our campus clinics and want to show them that this is the profession, how it will build up. So everybody, of course, aspires to be a medicine doctor, but if you don't, this is a very good profession that you can think into. So a lot of connect programs, uh, even deliveries uh, to the uh, parents at times in these kind of activities we do. We even went to Nepal and other places to do that. Yeah, well, actually, it's, it's good that you, you, you know, brought in Nepal because that's one thing that we notice. A lot of uh, young kids from Nepal come here to study. And in years to come, you'll make a dramatic uh, difference to optometry in that country. Oh, very recently we've even added Bhutan and uh, Sri Lanka and um, somewhere from even the Gulf, we've been getting the admissions to it. Yeah, and, and, and how, how did you get into recruiting more students from you know those countries? Do you have a, a targeted uh, campaign that you do in those places? Uh, we, through the university itself, have a network to build up. We have campuses across the globe also. And so the marketing team is trying to promote it and we send our presentations about our uh, optometry program right. and how it is uh, UGC recognized. We very recently added PhD also in our uh, this. It was a big struggle to get guides and uh, seniors who would lead the PhD programs and we've enrolled about five of them in this program. Oh, fantastic. And my very last question is where do you see your program in 10 years time? Oh, um, in fact, something when uh, whenever I go around to Canada, Waterloo universities, Australia, the dream and passion is to go up to that level, and we hope that we can take it up to that level. Thank you so much Thank for you your so time. Much. Thank you. Thank you so much.